Howdy, my gamer guys, gals, and other pals, and welcome to another episode of Just Your Average YouTube. Today I'll be giving a tutorial on building the structure of a castle. Now, I'm not going into interior or extra details, simply because building the main part of the castle took so long. But uh, anyway, first step is going to be building a grand hall. Even square, I mean, you can use a different shape, but an even square is the basics for a beginner. Now, make sure your uh, square is even. I'll just skip after building it, and so you're going to want to make it decently tall, okay? But definitely going to want to make an even square if you're a beginner. If you're not, then you can make it whatever shape you want, so long as it has a center point for you to work off of, because this will become la important later. Now, I'm just fixing up and checking the blocks and all that. And you're going to want to start making an entrance. Now, keep in mind, do not, and I repeat, do not build a drawbridge. That's for the other walls, the outer walls. Now, right right now, you're going to want to build a gate. Maybe you can add a portcullis, but um, you're also going to want to add a frame. Yeah, yeah, the frame is going to sort of uh, break up the um, sort of like just add some depth and break everything up and... Also, give the entrance a bit of character. The character is really important when building custom builds, but and and just making it yours. You're going to want to add your own little touch. Now, next up is actually going to be the courtyard, because the courtyard is going to be very important to build early on. I'm just going to speed this up, and I built just simple cobblestone, mossy cobble, and um, a, a fountain, but you need to build the courtyard first because you want your courtyard to look as nice as... You want to build your courtyard so that way you can size the outer walls around your courtyard and make it look how you want. Now, I obviously put a fountain in the middle here and all that. But, and uh, here I will build the fountain. I'm just speeding this up so that way you can see how I did this rather than skipping it all. Um, but, yeah... Uh, you're going to want to make, you know, whatever you want in your courtyard. The courtyard is going to be a foundation piece for measuring how big your thing's going to be. If you have a very long courtyard, you're going to have a very large castle. Now, keep in mind, you can make your courtyard as big or as small as you want. You can even make multiple courtyards. I just like having one, and I'm building one that's rather small at the moment. But trust me, even if this courtyard is only about 10, 20, 30 blocks wide, maybe... Uh, then it's still going to have a massive wall because that's how far out the wall will need to be from the center point of the box. It's going to need to be as long as the um, the courtyard. And so, of course, I finished up the fountain, added a few extra little details, and if you want, you can use different block palettes, you know, if you want it to be more classical or whatever. Uh, just remember to build in the theme of your build, don't just do what I tell you to, because what I tell you isn't always the best for every situation. You aren't going to use a modern build palette for a castle build. So, I, I, I mean, I'd be impressed if you could pull it off. But, for example, the point of this video is more give you skills to break down a build step by step, building your own unique castle rather than copying my build block for block, because if it would, then I'd stop being, you know, yeah, I'd stop explaining steps and just show you how to build it. So this is where the courtyard ends, where these dispensers are is where a portcullis will begin. Maybe a little further, maybe a little far closer, but this is how far away the castle walls will be. This is 30 blocks spacing, and you're going to want that far out on all sides from the center point, 30 blocks. And that is going to be, then you're going to outline that with an outer wall, like so. See, this is the outline for the first layer of the outer walls. They're going to be, they're of course going to be very thick because they need to be walked upon. I like making them four to six blocks thick, but you can make them whatever length you want. I'm trying to make this video a bit more fast paced as I remove these outlines. I'm just going to explain that because my last video was incredibly slow paced and I just want to speed things up because, you know, 40 minutes is kind of long for a video. So we're shortening them to 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, between there, you know, like, I'm definitely going to improve upon this because I'm not doing interior or much detailing, but I will be doing that in some other videos that I will come out with in a few weeks. 
Alrighty now. We're going to want to do the same thing with the last gate, but put a portcullis instead by doing a sort of arch. And if you don't know what that is, that's a castle's defense mechanism. It's an iron or wood lattice. It comes down from the ceiling to reinforce the doors or, like, trap people inside of them so they could pour water, no, boiling water, lead, or shoot arrows at them while they were in between there using arrow holes. And see, just like this arch and then flat side, and then on the other side, you have, you know, everything you got. And you can put dispensers facing upwards because they kind of look like little holes. Now, these this portcullis doesn't actually work because I'm not a redstone engineer. I'm not very good at it. But, yeah, if you want, you can make a working portcullis, but that's only if you actually know what you're doing with redstone. Uh... But now is, uh, now that you have extended out, like I've been doing, that is how thick your walls are going to be. So you're going to want to extend it out as far as you sort of want. And I'm going to just fix up a few things around the castle and just show you how to build it. Uh, of course, raising up the walls a bit. Fun fact, every block in this build is organically placed. Uh, I don't know how to use fill commands properly without destroying my build. So, I just skipped fill commands altogether and just built the entire thing by hand, and that's probably why it took so long. They say Rome wasn't built in a day, and, well, that's the reason this isn't looking like a castle, because this castle was built in two and a half days, and this took me so long because, as you can see, every single block I placed individually. Now, this is a large-scale castle wall, and I spared you to watch me having to place all of these blocks. Uh, but next up is going to be... Uh, the third area which is detailing the outer wall you're going to put upside down staircases around the outside these are where you're going to put the next row of arrow slits you're also going to want to put them on the inside put those little like spiky castle wall things on them uh but like not on the first layer only on the only on the first layer of the wall horizontally uh i mean you can do whatever but i just prefer to do it like this and see like so and of course put the little spikies on using slabs some people like staircases uh you can choose whatever i think the slabs just look a bit nicer right now it all depends on what specific situation you're in and fill with that of course the slabs uh, are one block and now you're going to start actually working on the towers which are going to be very integral i know this is going very fast and I kind of like it that way. Uh, the uh, towers, this is going to definitely be step four. And this is going to be the most, or one of the most important steps. Because if you mess up placing, like, what do you call it? Um, the, uh, like, castle walls. You make them one block too thin or one block too long. People aren't going to notice. You're not going to notice. It's not going to be a big deal. But... If you mess up the towers, it will definitely be noticeable. It will definitely be a big deal because towers are like one of the cornerstones. And, of course, yet again, I've spared you needing to watch me build those towers. And I put the um, wood on top of there just to make it look nice. And over here is how you build an arrow slit, like so. And we'll just put these across all of the walls. This is a good way to sort of put detail in. And I'll go over this in my detailing video, but these are just small details. This isn't actually basic structure. Like, the basic structure is, of course, the walls, the towers, and the main structure. Uh, for example, the, the main structure is, like, you know, the, the middle structure. That thing's going to be tall. The towers are going to be tall. This is all the main stuff you're going to need. I wouldn't have built the courtyard in this video earlier, and I only built part of the courtyard anyway. And uh, if you want to know how to build these things, uh, I, yeah, I'll put them in the detail video because I'm definitely going to be putting them in. Uh, so the um, I wouldn't have built the courtyard uh, if I had no or like if it wasn't necessary for measuring the size of the castle because. The castle size is very important. I'm going to finish up filling in there. And now we've got the outside walls pretty much finished and with minor details, nothing major. And then you're going to want to expand the door definitely. I mean, you can keep it small if you want, but I'll explain how I did this in my yet again in my detailed video. 
Um, but the basic structure, I cannot stress this enough, is starting out, building the castle backwards. Everybody always starts with the outside wall first. If you build the outside wall first, you'll end up not having enough space. So you're going to want to build the inside area first. And then if you like the size, uh, then you can expand outwards through the courtyard and make the courtyard whatever size you want. And you don't even have to do that if you already know what you want to do. But it's just easier this way. And, uh, of course, the inside there is going to be definitely like, well, I mean, the inside's going to be like, you know, like, it's hard to explain, but, um, why, why am I blanking? It's going to be, uh, it's going to be like the main area. And this, these towers need to be much, much taller. So that way they can be, well, tall towers. And so you just mark out how high they want to be. And other, other than the basic build the castle inverted technique and then add towers, building the basic structure of a castle after you get that technique down is very, very simple. So that's the reason, that's another reason why this video is very fast paced. And I just didn't think that it needed all this explanation. If you think this video was too fast paced, tell me, let me know, and I will try and accommodate by making the next two videos the same video. But if you couldn't tell, this is a really nice looking castle, and well, I think I did a pretty good job explaining how I built this. If you think it was too fast, I can remake the video anytime. Anyway, this that's the end of the video, and bowdy.